Choco Torta is an easy, no-bake Oreo dessert from Argentina, consisting of layers of Oreos, cream cheese, and dulce de leche, a type of caramel that's very popular in Argentina. This easy, no-bake Oreo dessert is perfect for you and your children to do together. If you're looking for the recipe, keep watching. An Oreo Choco Torta has to be the easiest no-bake dessert ever. What you will need is one 14.3 ounce container of chocolate sandwich cookies, could be Oreos or any other brand, one cup of strongly brewed coffee, I used two teaspoons of instant coffee, one 13.4 ounce can of dulce de leche, Dulce de leche is a milk and sugar caramel that's very common in Argentine desserts and other Latin desserts. If you follow my recipe and you use one can of sweetened condensed milk, then that's what you'll need. But if you're using your own or you're buying it from somewhere else, then you will need 380 grams. I'll see if I can put a link to my recipe and then also maybe a place where you can buy dulce de leche along with one 8 ounce block of cream cheese and some semi-sweet chocolate chips to garnish when we're done. Put those off to the side. The first step is to blend the cream cheese and the dulce de leche. The cream cheese is softened. It could be a little softer, not gonna lie. It's just kind of a spur of the moment decision to make this. You could use a hand mixer if you want, but even if you do not have a hand mixer, you can make this. See, it's coming along. This takes a little bit of elbow grease. So it took a few minutes, probably about three, four, maybe five minutes and some elbow grease. But the cream cheese and dulce de leche came together. So now time to assemble this no-bake Oreo dessert. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my strongly brewed coffee. I'm going to pour it into this bowl. This bowl is clean, it's just stained. I melted some chocolate in this bowl and it's been stained ever since. I have an 8x8 casserole dish. I'm not going to bother spraying it or anything because I think it'll be fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Oreos or other chocolate cookie sandwiches put them into the coffee very quickly and put them into the dish so in to the bottom turn them over take them out shake put them in one one thousand two one thousand probably no more than three seconds total in the coffee it's like making a tiramisu. You want the cookies to have the liquid, but you don't want to make the cookies too soggy. So, in, over, and out. Usually, choco torta is made not with Oreos, but with a type of chocolate cookie called Chocolinas, which are just normal chocolate cookies. They're not a sandwich cookie. They don't have any, any filling. So if you want it to be more authentic, I guess you could twist these apart and scrape out the filling. But honestly, I think that's kind of a lot of work. Too much as they say in Argentina, quilombo. Quilombo is a slang way of saying mess or hassle. It could be a physical mess. Like if your kitchen is very messy, you could say that there's a quilombo in the kitchen. Or it could be a hassle and a headache. Like let's say twisting apart all these Oreos and scraping out the filling. Or if you're at the airport and you have to run to catch your flight or you have to do a lot of paperwork that's a quilombo as well so
Honestly, like I said, too much gumbo. Unlike chocolinas, Oreos are circular, so there are gaps in between them. So I took a few Oreos, broke them into fourths, dipped them into the coffee, and put them in the gaps. If you want solid Oreo layers in an 8x8 dish, you're going to need two packages of chocolate sandwich cookies. Once your first layer of Oreos is in, spread on the dulce de leche and cream cheese filling. It's a bit sticky, but you'll be able to spread it. For more about Argentine cuisine and southern food, please visit my website parnalthechef.com. So the layer of dulce de leche and cream cheese is in. Before I put in the next layer of Oreos for this choco torta, I'm going to do something that I think really takes us to the next level but that I have not seen in any Argentine recipes. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Salt with something that's really, really, really sweet, really takes it to the next level. Some desserts, they're just too sweet, and if you add a little bit of salt, it really helps balance it out. Now this could make this delicious, or it could kind of make it not that great. So if you've never worked with salted caramels before, you might want to skip this step. But I'm just going to put in a little tiny bit of salt. So, barely anything. I'm going to sprinkle over the top. You could probably barely even see this on the video. I'll see if I can lift it up to the camera. So you might be able to see a little bit of salt on the top there, but this isn't even a quarter teaspoon, not even an eighth, probably a sixteenth of a teaspoon. Saw how little was in my hand. Just a little tiny bit. It's gonna really make this incredible. So now put on the next layer of cookies. Finish with the layer of the dulce de leche and cream cheese filling. Add a bit of salt to the top and then put the no-bake choco torta into the refrigerator to set for at least three hours, if not overnight. Three hours later, I crushed 50 grams, about three tablespoons of semi-sweet chocolate pieces in a plastic bag with a rolling pin, and then I put the chocolate on top of the choco torta. Although the chocolate isn't necessary, it definitely adds texture. Choco torta is one of Argentina's most popular no-bake desserts, and it's especially popular at teenagers' birthday parties. I've known about choco torta for quite a long time now, but I just recently made it because one of my Argentinian friends thinks that choco torta is something you make if you want to feel like you're cooking, but you don't really know how. However, the recipe really interested me, so I wanted to give it a try, and I'm really glad that I did. This no-bake Oreo dessert was probably one of the, if not the biggest culinary surprises of my life thus far. For something so easy and with so few ingredients, this was incredible. If you're looking for an easy no-bake chocolate dessert that's a bit different from the norm, make this. One of the first things I noticed was the texture. After just three hours, the coffee soaked Oreos softened but didn't get mushy. They had a very nice texture that combined very well with the dulce de leche and cream cheese layers. But what really made this good was the combination of flavors. The sweet Oreos with the bitter coffee and the sweet dulce de leche caramel with the sour cream cheese. Like I said, I've never seen salt in a choco torta recipe, but if you feel confident about it, adding just a little bit of salt will take this to the next level. This is a delicious, easy chocolate cake recipe, so it would be perfect for doing with your children or as a family. With just a few ingredients and three hours in the refrigerator, you can have an awesome chocolate cake without any quilombo. I've made a lighter version by substituting Neufchatel cheese for regular cream cheese and I couldn't tell a difference. The only difference was that it was actually easier to mix the filling. 
So if you're looking for an easy no-bake Oreo dessert recipe for a birthday, Easter, or summer holiday, try Choco Torta. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and to visit my website, parnaldechef.com. And as always, don't forget to follow me on social media. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.